Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and today we have some very exciting news about the armed shark tsunami. So if you want to stay up to date with this kind of news, and it's super exciting, trust me, for those of you who are interested in live blade variations for this guy, or even just other blade options for this guy, do leave a like, leave a comment, and make sure to subscribe with the bell notifications as well, so that you know when I upload. Because I'm going to be covering every step of this little journey anyways. For a little catch up for those of you who are unaware, in terms of alternate options for this trainer, you have a few things when it comes to bladed options, which none of them are live blades. They will all be dull trainer false edge blades. And so the options you have currently would be the Titus Tsunami blade, which requires some sanding of the these Zen cups, sanding of the Zen nipple as well, and also these sections here. With sanding those, you get probably what is currently the best option in terms of balance and performance. And you get a bow song that's quite bouncy, although I would say that is about true if you have a good enough tune on any of the bow songs. And then you also have the option of the Nabalis Hydra Blades, which come in Bowie or J Tanto. And those are your alternate option. I have the J Tanto Nabalis Blade, which I only just yesterday took off for the sake of remembering what it's like to come back to the trainer blade and also in preparation for what is to come which i'll be telling you guys about very soon which is about a potential live blade version from this from arm shark themselves we'll cover that very quickly but one of the problems with the other alternate blades is that they are much thicker than the stock arm shark blade which is i would say a annoyance, a potential issue, something that is overcomable, but by the average person, they might not want to go through the work that it requires, right? This is definitely a, a more advanced mod at the moment. Um, it's still sort of beginner-friendly, especially if you're doing the Titus one to grind that off. That's a much more advanced modification. But overall, the Novalis one is more or less plug-and-play, with the exception of it's a bit thick. So to overcome this thickness, the most beginner and accessible-friendly option would be to take the default washers you have in your uh, armed shark Balasong, or I'd actually take the Nabalis washers or the Titus washers. Actually, the Titus washers I'd put in the bottom here. The Nabalis washers I would keep here, and I would keep your Arm Shark spare washers in the bottom here, right? So in the Chamwich, obviously this means you can't have weight pins, so if you prefer your Balasong with weight pins, that is something that you would not have access to, unless you decided to drill a hole in one of your washers, where you had a spare washer lying around. So that also just makes the modification a little bit more complicated. But... I really wasn't super happy with that gap. So you can also get yourself some really, really thin washers for the handles here, which also then fit the Nabalis Hydro Blade, which allow you to get, you know, this same no handle gap kind of view, which is, in my opinion, just super beautiful. I do prefer the sound with the gap in the channel, but I much prefer the aesthetics. And I think the aesthetics and the slight extra thinness that you get from not having that gap is more important to me than necessarily the honestly really beautiful ringy sound that you get also because the bounciness isn't as good because the zen pins obviously are designed to be pressed together like this and they rattle a little bit like back and forth when they are in the nabalis style with the extra washer down here which is something in terms of tactile feel for me the tactile feel of a balasong is quite important and that is something that i was really really not happy with switching back to this blade however has now made me realize how good of a job arm shark had done despite it being a very light handle bias uh, a light to a medium handle bias this thing still fans really well and is very much an enjoyable experience to flip i still really enjoy doing all sorts of moves that i'm familiar with on the trainer blade and i cannot wait for what is coming so arm shark there have been pictures of the official arm shark people i guess i don't know if it's a person or if it's an actual company but the arm shark designers have not officially released, but there have been images going around of a false edge armed shark tsunami. One with an actual, with the milling lines, the correct details, one to one. I can only imagine at this thickness, armed shark tsunami with a false edge, which is super duper exciting. And if that does end up coming out, uh, it's definitely something I'm going to pick up alongside this. So I'll have two so I can give you a com direct comparison side by side of the potential armed shark actual tsunami right the arm shark tsunami not the arm shark tsunami trainer as this is 
This would be Armshark's first ever live blade, uh, or false edge, or anything in that sort of category. Which is kind of huge for the company, because if you think about it, none of their previous offerings have ever had anything of the sort. Which kind of opens the door now, if they do release this, to potentially having live bladed options in the future. Which could cement Armshark as easily the best Balasong on clone maker, best value for money, and best quality val uh, clone maker literally out there. Because if they release a Kraken with a one-to-one -one blade, or one that is that fits on their handles, regardless of whether it works on the official stuff, that's huge, right? That's already kind of a big deal in terms of, wow, so now you have a Tsunami, which I've been told this flips very, very close, like scarily close, if not slightly better to the real thing due to the holes here being slightly smaller to allow for more material here, and also the blade being slightly thinner, which evens out the handle bias. So it's a little less handle bias than the real deal. That's how I've had it described, and that the handles are more or less one-to-one -one in terms of feel. Obviously, you don't get the beautiful jeweling inside, which is something that I would really like to do. I'm going to test out, potentially, with my rotary tool, some jeweling on the inside of this guy, just to see how beautiful I can make it. And to be honest, this is one of the things that I've been very, very excited about, because Armchalk are easily my favorite clone maker. They make my favorite ballast songs in terms of trainers. And so having an option from them that flips as well as this, just with extra weight in the blade, is gonna be absolutely perfect because it won't suffer from the same issues that the ballast blade suffers from, which is a bit too much pivot weight. It feels a little clunky and it doesn't have that beautiful sound and bounce of the actual arm shark stuff. And of course, the arm shark tune here is insane. It literally, like it doesn't, it doesn't wiggle. Like, dude, this thing is insane. I really, really love the Arm Shark Tsunami here. And so I cannot wait for that. Estimated leaked kind of arrival dates end up being about July. So possibly in July, which is only in about a month and a half's time, we could potentially be having one of these bad boys. A second one on the channel, which would really cement this as one of my favorite battle songs, because I won't lie to you, the two battle songs that I've given my Seraph a run for their month for its money is this guy, which is really let down just by being a trainer and potentially not having as nice of a or as not as aggressive of a taper here versus here i think that the actual tsunami could benefit from that i think it would look a little bit more elegant but it would not exactly fall in line with the squid architecture so much and i think they get a good enough idea of this kind of architecture with the the holes that they have running down the, the channel here. and so this is something that I'm very much looking forward to Armshark releasing their own version of the Tsunami. However, what is also being released is someone else who decided that Armshark aren't going to be doing it good enough. And it's not certain whether Armshark will actually release this Tsunami version in addition to what is already currently available. Because obviously, as I've said before, they have no... Thanks, Fly. They have no official false edge or live blade offerings. And so the pictures going around might end up not coming to fruition, which would be very unfortunate and would be a letdown indeed. So someone has already taken it into their own hands and produced a prototype so far of an actual Tsunami false edge that fits on both the original and on the Arm Shark model. Now, this thing also looks just as fantastic as the, uh, the Arm Shark one with the correct milling lines. However, one thing I will say is that it contains the Squid Industries logo as of current and also a little label that says production and then blank, which is a hit and a miss for some people. Personally, I'm not too worried about it as a potential increased modification bundle for just this guy in, in general. If you want something that's more accurate and says Squid Industries, I mean, yeah, go for it. But also, it's a little bit scummy in terms of trying to rip off Squid Industries, and so I can understand that that's a, a, a big contention point for some people, which is why I'm very much looking forward to the Arm Shark version, which will almost certainly just have Arm Shark branding on it. I really hope they actually take the logo here and go Armed Shark along the flank that is on there, just literally the words Armed Shark in, even just this font is fine. Um, and potentially on the other side, or maybe down here, they could have the actual like crest, of arm shark with the blade steel uh, down here or wherever it is on the actual tsunami and then also on that flank where it says production i really hope they actually do you know either like production five as a number just as a 
a random number or production nine i think nine could also be a really cool number i think actually yeah nine will probably look the best right vii no it would be ix wouldn't it production nine never mind don't listen to me production seven or production nine i think would probably be the coolest looking or even production six just any of the roman numerals that involve either the x or or like a vi i think it'd look cool so my guarantee my not my guarantee my suggestion would be to have arm shark in flat print on one side uh, you know etched in and then on the opposite side to have production 11 or production 9 personally i'll go for the 9 ix rather than xi i think production 9 with arm shark on this side would look really cool just in bold text and perhaps the blade steel whatever it be on the bottom here just to have that kind of mimic and design and i know laser etching doesn't really cost much Obviously, doing it on both sides is something that you could say, oh, blah, 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 blah. But I think it would just be very cool to have this as an option for the Armed Shark Tsunami full edition. This other live blade, though, is made by somebody who I'm not sure of the name of. I've heard of the word DI, like DI, like the letters DI, like Delta Igloo? What's I? Whatever I is, right? I can't remember what I is. And so I'm very excited about that. I would love to try and get one for the channel and see if how it holds up against not only the Nabalis options, but also eventually against the Arm Shark option once it definitely does release. This alternate blade comes in two finishes, a Sandblast and then also, I believe, a Satin or a Polished. So one of two of those three options, I believe a Sandblast is what is currently available, and then eventually there will be a, like a more polished or a more like... I'm not sure how the Satin will look like, perhaps a more shiny edge to the blade? But I'm not sure if a shiny edge is exactly what you'd want. And of course, the actual Tsunami doesn't have a super, super shiny edge. But I could always polish it at home here. Right? I always have the facilities to do that. And so that's not something I'm super worried about when it comes to the polishing. Although the etching would be nice to keep intact rather than having to polish over the etching, which might just ruin the etch look, which wouldn't be super nice, but... It is what it is. I would probably still be satisfied with just the standard. But whatever Arm Shark release, it is almost certain to be fantastic. And I'm really, really excited about it. That's what I'm more excited about, more so than the standard DI upgrade. But I think for those of you who already have Arm Shark Tsunamis and you've been wanting more from it, a false edge upgrade could be something that's super exciting. And I'm sure you'll be able to probably get bundled deals with the upgrade and also the stock Arm Shark Balasong for, you know, a better deal than buying them separately which I think would be an absolutely fantastic option, especially because I love how the blade will look on just the just silver handles. Potentially, I will anodize this if I get the other blade, and I think that's something that's super exciting in the future. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, all that good stuff, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.